been three months since a man set fire to South Point Catholic High School, taking out a large portion of its campus. But today, students and staff are pushing forward. Now, Nine on your side's Megan Meyer joins us live from outside the high school now with new details on their road to recovery. Pat Heidi, it's been a tough start to the school year for everyone here at South Point, but this week marks a big milestone since the fire. Students and staff now finally have the classroom space that they've been missing for months. It's the start of fourth period for these South Point students. After months of bouncing around campus, they finally have a classroom to call their own. The fact that we've been able to open up these classrooms and everyone has their own space again, uh, we couldn't be happier. Just weeks from the start of the school year, six classrooms were destroyed after a man set fire to a part of the campus. For teachers, their classroom is their kingdom, and so they have not especially the six that lost their classrooms in the fire. Uh, they haven't had that. And uh, not only for them, but then the classrooms that they've had to travel to, those teachers have not had their planning time either. These modular classrooms installed just this week will fill that void for now. Several agencies, including the Arizona Department of Housing, came together to make it happen. They were, um, you know, short of space due to, to this arson activity. It was just something that we knew we had to act as soon as possible to um, make it happen and get it done for the community. We got these classrooms for not just the teachers, but also for the students if we can be more connected as a community. South Point says they will eventually repair the part of campus that was burned. We are looking to hopefully begin demolition um, in November. We will see because of course everything takes a bit longer and then hopefully construction on our new building uh, beginning in February. Until then, they're pushing forward together. I like South Point through the fire and everything we just got more connected. Now, Sal Point's principal says they've had several fundraisers since the fire and is extremely grateful for the community's continued support. Live from Sal Point, Megan Meyer, Kega 9 on your side.